welcome to Compassion Watch, the television outreach of the Prince George's Compassion Project. Addressing domestic violence and animal cruelty at the root cause. I'm Tim Saffel. And I'm Linda Saffel. Thanks for tuning in. And a worldwide welcome to all of our viewers who are watching th through the internet at www.compassionwatch.org. Well, Linda, we're getting more and more calls from Prince George's County residents who have been told that it's unlawful to feed feral cats and they can be fined if they do so. Well, it's pretty normal to accept the word of a police officer or an animal control officer, isn't it? You would think so, but we found that police officers and animal control officers are always not that familiar with what the law says. Well, since we're not lawyers, can we do any better, though, at understanding the statute? Well, let's face it. In any courtroom, you'll have two lawyers arguing opposing viewpoints, and only one of them is going to win the case. So lawyers don't get it right more than 50% mm. of the time either. Although we're not lawyers, and this program is not intended to be legal advice, we do encourage people to get a copy of the statute and read it for themselves. In fact, we have the opinion of the Court of, Appe of Appeals where the judge said, statutory analysis begins with the plain meaning of the words of the statute. When those words are clear and unambiguous and the result is not absurd, no further inquiry into legislative intent is required. Well, if we're going to read the animal control statute, where should we start? The first section of the statute is Section 3, 101, Definitions. And we should start there because in order to understand what the statute means, we have to know what the meaning of the words is. So, what does the animal control statute say about animals? It's important to know that the animal control statute defines many terms that have to do with animals. There are definitions for animal, agricultural animal, animal at large, attack dog, cat, companion animal, dog, domesticated animal, exotic animal, farm animal, feral, fowl, guard dog, livestock, pet. Okay, I get the point. There are a lot of definitions of animals. Yes, and it's important to recognize that they define different sets of animals. Some of the definitions are discrete, like dog and cat. Sometimes they overlap, like dog and cat and stray. And other times, one definition will define a subset of another definition, like dog, attack dog, guard dog. Mm. So what does the statute say about animals in general? Well, you have to go to section 101, and definition 11 is animal. And it says, animal shall mean every non-human species of animal, both domestic and wild. It looks like all non-human animals are divided into two categories, domestic and wild. Is that right? Well, that seems to be what it's saying, but we have to take the law into co in context. And there's another definition that uh, clarifies that. And um, that's the definition of wild animal. And that's definition number 77. It says wild animal shall mean any animal which is not included in the definition of domesticated animal. So there we can see that domestic and wild are two discrete groups. But what's the difference between a domestic and a wild animal? Well, one very significant difference is the issue of property rights. Uh, although we begi are, we're beginning more and more to think of our pets as companions and part of the family, legally speaking, they're property that we own. I've never thought about owning a wild animal. Well, this goes way back. Uh, do you remember the Robin Hood stories where the people were arrested for hunting mm -hmm. because they were taking the king's critters? Well, wild animals to this day are considered to be the property of the state, and individuals cannot own them. Mm, that makes sense. But at Prince George's Feral Friends, SPCA, we're primarily concerned about feral cats. So where do feral cats fall in all this? Are they domestic or wild? That's a very important question. And again, we have to go back to the definitions. In section 101, definition 43 says feral shall mean animals existing in the wild or untamed state that is wild. Well, now I'm beginning to lose track of how the different categories of animals interrelate. Well, let's start building a chart. And uh, what we've done here on the chart is we've said from the top, definition 11, animal is every non-human species, both domesticated and wild. So below that, we've divided that according to definition 77 
that wild animal is any animal that's not domesticated. We've divided the non-human species into domesticated and wild on the right-hand side. And we put there property rights. Personal property uh, rights apply to domesticated animals, but wild animals are considered to be the king's critters and they're owned by the state. And then when we, talked to, when we noticed the uh, definition for feral, the definition places feral animals under the wild category. However, since not all wild animals are feral, we put feral and other wild animals on the chart. You know, I've always thought of cats as domestic animals. So feral cats are not considered domestic animals? According to the statute, there's a difference between domestic and feral animals. Um, for example, if you look at the definition of companion animal, which is still in Section 3101, Definition 33, companion animal shall mean any domestic or feral dog, domestic or feral cat, and some other things, uh, exotic or native animal, reptile, exotic or native bird, and so forth. So there's a clear distinction between domestic and feral. Well, since feral must be distinct from domestic, and any animal that's not domestic is wild, feral cats must be considered wild under the statute. Well, if you remember, that's exactly what the definition of feral said. In other words, wild. Isn't it strange, though, to consider a feral cat as a wild animal? Well, no, actually, it's not, uh, it's not uncommon at all. In fact, in the Code of Maryland uh, Regulations, uh, for purposes of rabies control, the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene defines a wild animal as including a feral dog or cat. Hmm. And we read, in the, this is in the Maryland Code of Regulations, the definition of wild animal is a member of a mammalian species that is A, not a domestic animal, there you go, mm -hmm. B, a feral cat, dog or cat, or C, an unclaimed stray animal. So that, that's the definition of wild animal for rabies control. Well, well, somebody recently said that they had been told that because feral cats were companion animals, it was unlawful to feed them, provide shelter for them, or even take them to a veterinarian. Well, you'll notice that the term for companion animal not only includes domestic and feral cats, but also many other animals, including native birds. Um, let's continue with our chart and put companion animal down there. And you'll see definition 33, companion animal, is domestic or feral dog, domestic or feral cat. And what we've done here is under the domesticated column, we've put the domestic dogs and the domestic cats. Then under the feral column, we have feral dogs and feral cats. And then we have other wild animals like exotic or native animals, reptiles, or birds. There are quite a few people, I think, around the county who have bird feeders out. Um, they probably put bird feeders, bird houses up around their house, and people will even take to injured birds to the veterinarian. I've never been able to find anything in the statute that says that that's illegal. But, you know, people have been warned that feeding feral cats is unlawful. Well, let's remember that a warning is different from a citation. Uh, a citation, by the very definition, the officer has to cite the law that's being violated by chapter and verse. And a person can be warned for anything without citing a law. But on the other hand, if they're, if they're cited, they, they must have a law to cite. And, you know, people are being given citations. They're cited, for example, for running at large. Well, there is a law against running at large, and we should read it. Now we're in the statute at Section 3135, animals at large prohibited 